Gloria Long Anderson, born 1938, still alive today as of July 25th, 2021, African American chemist. Gloria L. Anderson is a distinguished chemist, educator, and college administrator. Her scientific research has involved industrial, medical, and military applications of fluorine-19 chemistry. As an educator, she has served as the Callaway Professor of Chemistry, Chair of the Chemistry Department, and Dean of Academic Affairs at Morris Brown College in Atlanta. Anderson, in addition, has been a board member and Vice Chair of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, for which she has lectured nationally on issues relating related to minorities and women in mass media and public television. Anderson was born in Alzheimer, Arkansas, on November 5, 1938, the daughter of Charlie Long and Elsie Lee Foggy. She enrolled at the Arkansas Agricultural, Mechanical, and Normal College, now the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, where she was awarded a Rockefeller Scholarship from 1956 to 1958. Anderson received her B.S. degree summa cum laude in 1958. She married Leonard Sinclair Anderson on June 4, 1960. They had one son. They have one son, Gerald. In 1961, Anderson was awarded her M.S. degree from Atlanta University. For the next year, she worked as a chemistry instructor at South Carolina State College in Orangeburg. From 1962 to 1964, she held an instruction, she held an instructorship. From 1962 to 1964, she held an instructorship at Morehouse College in Atlanta, then went on to take a position as a teaching and research assistant at the University of Chicago, where she received her doctorate in organic chemistry in 1968. Anderson's dissertation and aspects of her subsequent research have related to fluorine-19 chemistry. The 19 following fluorine refers to a particular isotope of fluorine, like have a to a particular isotope of fluorine that, like other elements with odd numbered masses, has magnetic properties. Fluorine-19 chemistry became an important field of research shortly before World War II, when many commercial uses for fluorine compounds were discovered. Much of Anderson's research has involved nuclear magnetic resonance spectro spectroscopy, a method of investigating organic compounds by analyzing the nucleic responses of molecules subjected to radio frequency radiation within a slowly changing magnetic field. NMR spectroscopy, which has been widely exploited for chemistry, biochemistry, biophysics, and solid-state physics research enables extremely sophisticated analysis of the molecular structures and interactions of various materials. The small size, low reactivity, and high sensitivity of fluorine-19 make it particularly suited for NMR spectroscopy. Since the late 1960s, fluorine NMR spectroscopy has been applied to a range of biochemical problems, including the study of the human metabolism and the formulation of new pharmaceuticals. Anderson joined the faculty of Morris Brown College in Atlanta in 1968 and associate professor and chair of the chemistry department. From 1973 to 1984, Anderson was the Fuller E. Calloway Professor of Chemistry at Morris Brown and continued her service as the chemistry department chair. Anderson left the chemistry department to serve as dean of academic affairs at Morris Brown for the years 1984 to 1989. In 1990, Anderson resumed her post as the Callaway Professor of chemis Chemistry. In 1976, Anderson was recognized as an outstanding teacher at Morris Brown and received a Scroll of Honor Award from the National Association of Negro Business and Professional Women. In 1983, she received the Teacher of the Year Award and was voted into the Faculty Staff Hall of Fame at Morris Brown. In 1987, she received an Alumni All-Star Excellence Award in Education from the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. In addition to her work at Morse Brown, Anderson has conducted research through a number of independent and government facilities. Beginning in 1971, she continued her investigations of fluorine-19 chemistry, first in association with the Atlanta University Center Research Committee, then under the National Institutes of Health, the National Science Foundation, and the Office of Naval Research. 
She also conducted research on amantadines, amantadines, amantadines or amantadines, drugs used to prevent viral infection under the Minority Biomedical Support Program of the National Institutes of Health. She held a faculty industrial research fellowship with the National Science Foundation in 1981 and with the Air Force Office of Scientific Research in 1984. In 1985, Anderson investigated the synthesis of potential antiviral drugs as a United Negro Fund distinguished scholar. In that same year, she conducted research on the synthesis of solid rocket propellants under the Air Force Office of Scientific Research. Since 1990, she has been affiliated with BioSpecs of the Hague, Netherlands. Since 1990, she has been affiliated with BioSpecs of the Hague, Netherlands as a research consultant. In 1972, Anderson was appointed to a six-year term on the board of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting at the CPB. Anderson chaired committees on minority training, minorities and women, and human resources development. She was vice chair of the CPB board from 1977 to 1979. She is a member of the American Institute of Chemists, the American Chemical Society, the National Institute of Science, the National Science Teachers Association, the Association of Computers and Mathematics and Science Teaching, the Georgia Academy of Science, and the Atlanta University Science Research Institute, among other scientific and professional bodies. She has served as a proposal review panel member, contract reviewer, or field reader for the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare's Office of Education, the National Science Foundation's Women in Science Program, the Nation Cancer Institute, the Department of Education, and the National Institute of Drug Abuse. Citations and sources for this audio are in the description.